वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू द अनदर सेशन ऑफ दिस सिलेबस डिस्कशन सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट द यूनिट नंबर थर्ड दैट इज दैट यूनिट नंबर थर्ड इज सेल द स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन सो इन दिस यूनिट नंबर थर्ड वी आर हैविंग थ्री चैप्टर्स वी आर हैविंग थ्री चैप्टर्स सो चैप्टर नंबर एट चैप्टर नंबर नाइन एंड चैप्टर नंबर टेन सो इन टोटल वी आर हैविंग थ्री चैप्टर्स चैप्टर नंबर एट इज सेल द यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ ओके चैप्टर नंबर नाइन इज बायोमोलिक्यूल्स एंड चैप्टर नंबर टेन इज सेल साइकिल एंड सेल डिविजन सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस Uh, the points which are given in that uh, chapter uh, serially okay so let us start with the chapter number 8 so what is chapter number 8 chapter number 8 is about the cell the unit of life so in this chapter we will have around five points okay so what is the first point first point what is a cell what is a cell so what is cell you know that being a biology student cell you know very well definition that is the cell is fundamental structural and functional unit of the living organism so that is called as the cell okay so all living organisms that we know that all living organisms are made up of cells so they are at the best there is a cell so all living creatures are made up of cell so uh, that we are going to discuss what is cell exactly that we are going to discuss uh, in this context the two scientists schrodinger and swan they had proposed the cell theory which theory cell theory of life that states that the every organism is made up of cell and the cell arise from pre existing cell so uh, that is a very interesting theory it is much uh, older theory but still uh, that theory states some assumptions and that are true okay so uh, that is the cell theory that we will do going to discuss in this chapter that we will going to discuss an overview of the cell what is cell How, what is uh, what is the structure of cell Uh, how the cell look like what are the different parts of the cell that we going to study in the overview of the cell and after that the fourth point is about the prokaryotic cell and fifth one is eukaryotic cell so we know that there are basically two different types of cells prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell if you don't know don't bother about it Uh, जब ये चैप्टर आएगा तो हम ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स विल बी स्टडी इन डिटेल सो डोंट वरी अबाउट इट जस्ट रिमेम्बर जस्ट वी आर माय पर्पस ऑफ दिस लेक्चर सीरीज इज जस्ट टू गेट फैमिलियर विद द नीट सिलेबस सो दैट एवरीथिंग विल बी फैमिलियर टू यू इवन बिफोर स्टडी सो दैट इज व्हाट द पर्पस ऑफ दिस नीट लेक्चर सीरीज इज देयर सो डोंट बॉदर इवन इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग Uh, don't bother every topic will be uh, learn will learn every topic in uh, much later much deeper at a much deeper level so uh, we know that after the overview of a cell there are we know that there are two different types of cells prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells so what is the how structure of prokaryotic cell how it looks okay you know that bacterial cells are the prokaryotic cells so what are the distinguishing features of the prokaryotic cell which distinguishes them from the eukaryotic cells okay so uh, the structure of prokaryotic cell will be learned in this topic then uh, the main main topic is your or uh, the last topic is your eukaryotic cells so you know that even human cells plant cells animal cells all these cells are what these are the eukaryotic cell so what is eukaryotic cell what is prokaryotic cell 
uh, they are classified based on the primitive nucleus or well developed nucleus so all these things will be studied then eukaryotic cell it is having somewhat complex structure what type of structures it is having it is having cell wall if it is a uh, plant cell then cell membrane then there are different cell organelles like your uh, nucleus is there then your endoplasmic reticulum is there even that is having two different types smooth endoplasmic and rough endoplasmic reticulum area e golgi bodies are there lysosomes are there there are vacuoles okay mitochondria are there if it is a plant cell then there is a chloroplast so uh, then cytoplasm is there all the detailed structures and each and every organelle of this cell will be studied in uh, detail so that is about the chapter number 8 cell the unit of the life so that is what we are going to study in this chapter number 8 in chapter number 9 it is quite interesting uh, topic that is a biomolecules okay so biomolecules basically we all are made up of cells but what that cell contains okay it is eventually the chemistry okay so molecules small molecules they are they are joined in such a way that so as to formulate a so as to form a cell okay so you know that if you are knowing there are different molecules biomolecules which are present in the cells like proteins carbohydrates uh, lipids are there so uh, this all this biomolecules will be studied in this chapter number 9 so in that around it is somewhat uh, long chapter it is having 12 points so first point is how to analyze the chemical composition what are the different ways to analyze the chemical composition that will be studied in this point in second point what are the primary and secondary metabolites so what are the different primary you know that proteins carbohydrates and fats these are called as primary metabolites because they are directly involved in the growth directly involved in the growth and the uh, development of that organism so these are called as primary metabolites so that uh, again we will study in detail what are the secondary metabolites they are not directly involved uh, in the uh, growth and development of the organism but still they are very important uh, from the defense mechanism perspective or even some other perspective so there are different secondary metabolites flavonoids alkaloids okay tannins terpenes so these are some of the secondary metabolites that will be studied then next topic is what is bio macro molecule so uh, the molecules which are having the greater Uh, molecular weight okay more than 1000 dalton you know that molecular weight is uh, measured in the dalton so uh, these are considered as a bio macro molecules okay they are large sized molecule macro means what large so that will be studied in this what type of bio macro molecules are there so you know that <coughs> first is your very important bio molecule that is the proteins proteins we know that proteins are the polymers of the amino acids so the proteins will be studied in uh, very detail so uh, very interesting this will be a very interesting part then polysaccharides which are the carbohydrates like your glucose is there you know glucose fructose uh, there are different types of carbohydrates which comes under this or this glucose and uh, this molecule join together to form the long chains of the Uh, long chain molecule and these are called as polysaccharides like starch is there like uh, glycogen is there amylose amylopectin okay so these are some of the polysaccharides that will be studied then after that uh, next is your nucleic acid very very important point nucleic acids you know that dna deoxyribo nucleic acid rna ribo nucleic acid so nucleic acids are very important because uh, if we think of dna which stores all the genetic information dna is nothing but the blueprint of the life so all this uh, dna and rna structure will be studied then uh, there is a structure of proteins structure of proteins okay structure of proteins 
will be studied there are around four different uh, structures primary structure secondary structure tertiary structure and quaternary structure so these are the structures of the protein that will be studied then there are different uh, forms like in secondary structure we are having alpha helix beta plated seeds so don't bother about this just go through that uh, my uh, tries only to get familiar with all this syllabus so that uh, you will learn uh, you will understand better then nature of bond uh, linking monomers into in a polymer so even if we see in case of proteins there is a peptide bond uh, which forms the bond between two amino acids it is called as peptide bond or peptide linkage or it is also called as co nh linkage so this peptide linkage how it is formed how two amino acids comes together that is also a very interesting part even in the case of polysaccharides carbohydrates there is a glycosidic bonds okay between the sugar units so all these bonds will be studied then concept of metabolism you know that what is metabolic uh, the study of all the metabolic processes which consist of anabolic processes and catabolic processes that will be studied in the concept of uh, metabolism even the metabolic basis for living what is exactly the metabolic basis for the living to which we call as a living state so all these are very interesting topics then final topic is your enzymes how uh, this name has derived uh, that enzyme that will be a very interesting part then what are the different types of enzyme classification of enzyme different types isoreductase oxidase reductase okay Uh, ligases are there so there are different classes of enzymes what is vmax what is velocity then what is a michaelis menten equation what is that all these things what is what are the enzyme inhibitors the different types of enzyme inhibitors competitive inhibitors non competitive inhibitors mixed uh, competitive inhibitors so all these things will be studied very interesting topic enzymes they are very important See, ninety nine point ninety nine percent enzymes are protein. Okay, not hundred percent. Almost all enzymes are proteins. Okay, so all these stuff will be studied in chapter number nine and uh, third chapter is your chapter number ten that is cell cycle and cell division. So what is this cell cycle? Cell. You know that cell is fundamental structural and functional unit of the organism. and this cell it multiplies it divides and produce the uh, daughter cells so how these daughter cells are formed what are what is the science behind that what is the process behind that which is involved in that multiplication or division so that things will be studied in this uh, 10 chapter that is the cell cycle and cell division in that first point is your cell cycle so what is cell cycle cell cycle is the series of events okay which takes place in order to form the two daughter cells from one parent cell okay so this cell cycle uh, will be studied in detail which consists of different phases like interphase m phase in even in the interphase we are having g1 phase s phase that is called as synthetic phase uh, dna replication or duplication takes place in that s phase synthesis phase not synthetic synthesis phase so g1 phase s phase g2 phase and m phase that is the mitosis phase so uh, here it is given m phase mitosis phase then what are the different stages of mitosis which basically consist of two different parts uh, karyokinesis and cytokinesis karyokinesis means what a uh, division of nucleus because we know that karyon means what nucleus then cytokinesis means division of cytoplasm this karyokinesis consists of different stages like prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase so all these phases will be studied in this mitosis then there is a significance of mitosis what is the importance of the mitosis that will be studied then another uh, process is your meiosis so what is meiosis it is the reductional division mitosis is the uh, equational division why it is called so that will be a very interesting part that we going to learn in this 
chapter number 10 then what are the different stages even meiosis consists of meiosis first meiosis second meiosis first consists of prophase uh, first metaphase first anaphase first telophase phase even the prophase first is very complicated which consists of different substages like lectotin, zygotin, pagetin, diplotin and dikylensis. So all these stages will be studied in this meiosis and at last we will study the significance of meiosis. Why meiosis is important? Because it is the major phenomenon in the process of reproduction. Okay. So all these interesting facts will be studied in this chapter number 10. So I hope uh, we have get we have got familiar with the unit number third that is the cell structure and function which consists of three chapters cell the unit of life uh, then